the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware, makers of better things for better living through chemistry, presents the Cavalcade of America. Tonight's star, Nina Fosh, as Captain Jonita Bonham, flight nurse, United States Air Force. Tonight's story, The Nurse Who Forgot Fear. You wake up one morning and you look around. The sun is where it always was. The world still turns in the same old way. You don't feel any different. But they say you're a hero. You. You're just a girl in Montgomery, Alabama. But that's your picture in that magazine. And when the phone rings, it's for you. Hello? Uh, is this Jolita Bottom? Yes. Miss Bottom, this is Cy Harris. I'm calling from New York City for Cavalcade of America. Uh, we heard about an experience you went through off the Korean coast, and we want to do a radio show about it. Oh. I wonder if I could ask you a few questions. Well, sure, but I don't know if well, I tell can... me, you're a nurse, right? Uh, a flight nurse. Mm-hmm. And how does this differ from a from a regular nurse, Miss Bonner? Well, uh, a flight nurse uh, flies. Uh-huh. Uh, you flew with the wounded men from Korea to the hospital in Japan, is that right? Oh, that's right. Say, that, that must have been pretty exciting. Well, actually, I, I mean... Well, you know, it was just routine. We, we'd get up every morning at three and then... Three in the morning? Yeah, between two and three. Vera and I used to room together. She was the other nurse. We worked together and lived together. We'd set her alarm for two and mine for two thirty. That's so we'd be sure and get up. When the second clock went off, Bonnie. Mm-hmm. Was that the first or the second? Mm-hmm. Bonnie. Uh huh. I think it was the second. Oh, that's nice. Well, here goes. Oh, that floor is like ice. Uh, uh, is it still raining out? What do you think? No, just thought I'd ask. Come on up. Want to sleep your life away? Mm, that's an interesting idea. Well, you don't have to sleep in the Air Force. You can simulate. Yuck, yuck. The truth is, I, I wouldn't mind just getting up. It's only the prospect of having to climb to those long flannels that kills me. <laughs> I think I'm going to get some of those black lace jobs and wear them under my long flannels. Just to remind me I'm still a woman. Okay, woman, you fill the canteens and I'll call operations for the truck. Then you went into action, eh? Well, first we had about three cups of black coffee. Then a cargo plane took us to Korea. In Korea, things were almost the same. We were in the same way. And then there was the rain and... The mud and the rain and the mud. I get the blues when it rains. Mm, you're in a good voice today. Thank you. The blues I can't lose when it rains. Bonnie, look, I finished another sock. You know, I might get to be a first class knitter if I stay in the service long enough. That? No, that. <laughs> Who do you know with a foot shaped like that? Two heels. Well, you're looking at it upside down. Mm-hmm. It looks more like a sweater to me. Well, that's an idea. I'll cut two holes in it and make it. <laughs> I'll get it. Hello? Dog Pass 47. Go ahead. Dog Pass 47. This is Marine Holding Station Tiger 91. Can you hear me? Yeah. Got some patients for you. What? We have some patients for you. Okay, Tiger 91. We'll wait. Double header again today, huh? Yeah, we'll be lucky if we hit the sack by midnight. I get the blues. Hey, what happened to your voice all of a sudden? <laughs> you, uh, hungry? Not much. I'll trade you my candy bar for that can of beans. It's a deal. <laughs> I sure do pity those people back in the States. Imagine having to sit down to a hot meal. Horrible thought. Oh, well. How do you say, say la guerre in French? Mm-hmm. Well, that's about the way it was. Yeah, I see. Just working and waiting and, and mud and rain. Too much of everything in that country. Too hot or too cold, too wet or too dry. We just worked along from day to day, doing our job, that's about all. Yeah, but, uh, you know, wasn't there any romance, anything mm-hmm. like that? No excitement? Well, there was shooting all around. Is that what you mean? And, and sometimes on the flights when the weather would get bumpy, the patients no, would... No, 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 no. Romance, you know. Say, say it's your day off. You and your boyfriend are sitting out in a jeep someplace. The Japanese moon is hanging over you like a paper lantern. You get the picture of romance. Mm-hmm. He's off to the front. This is your last night to get a stuff like that. Did you ever have any dates? <laughs> Once in a while. Sometimes a fellow I knew would manage to get a flight down from Tokyo where he was stationed. 
She'd be at the airbase waiting for my plane to get in. It was night, and the only sound was the idling of the engine. Well, we're in. You'll be out of here in just a few minutes, fellas. Oh, boy. We landed. Just let me out of here. Hey, now, wait a minute, soldier. Don't you try to sit up. You'll pull out those pictures. Take it easy. Need any help, Bonnie? No, dear. Just open the door. Right. And we'll get you fellas unloaded in a minute. Hey, do you leave us here, nurse? Yeah, that's right. That's the end of the line for us. Lieutenant, who do I have to see to get you for my private nurse? Well, you just write to your congressman. <laughs> All right, here we go, men, and cheer up. You'll be back in the States in less than a week. Mm, that was a nice bunch of kids. Yeah, they had a real crush on you. Oh, well, am I dehydrated? Just lead me to that hot shower. Did you say hot shower? I can drink. Bonnie! Look, there's Tom. Bonnie, what happened? I thought you were due back this afternoon. We had to make two trips, Tom. Hi, fly boy. Don't I get a little low? Hi, <laughs> dear. How's Bubblehead? Well, that's a matter of opinion. Tom, when do you have to leave? Well, let's see. It's, uh, it's 11 now. I have 10 minutes. 10 minutes. You don't have to hit me with a brick wall. Freeze the crowd, yeah. If you want me, which I know you won't, I'll be under the first shower. <laughs> Come on. Let's get out of here. Hey, Tom! Oh, don't look now, but somebody's calling Are you. Are you ready? Oh. Good now, get aboard. board. <sighs> What's that? Well, it was a good seeing you, Bonnie. Yeah, Tom. Listen, you you look really beat. I just hope I can stay awake long enough to make it to my sack. Yeah. Well, get some rest, Bonnie. Sure, Tom. You too. <laughs> Mm, not in spirit. Well, that certainly was the shortest date on record. <laughs> Too bad. Ruined his whole day off. Just sitting around, waiting. I'll get him a special note from the chaplain. Oh. Any hot water? Ice cold. Very wet, though. Serves a purpose. I don't think I'll ever get this mud out of my pores. But what I do is rub it in so it doesn't show. <laughs> Vera, you ever wonder what it's for? Uh, what it means? Everything? Us. Here. Korea, the, the fighting. Yeah, everything. Who's got the strength to wonder? <laughs> Those guys. I haven't seen a woman in months. You just you don't want to look at her. Makes you feel kind of special. Sort of clean, really. That kid today. <laughs> he was so bashful. <laughs> I thought he'd never get around to asking if he could take our picture. I didn't think it was possible in this day and age for men to blush. Ah, oh, does this sack feel good? We could be home right now, sleeping in a real bed instead of a miserable cot. I know. I was all set to go home when the fighting started. Thirty months in this mud hole. When I was discharging 46, I, I figured I never want to see another plane. How come you're re-enlisting? I don't know. Everything is so dull. I, I missed all this, I guess. <laughs> I'm a walk character. What can you do? I know so much. Vera? Hmm? Now the plane went down today. On the central. I know, I've been thinking about it. Bonnie, I've got a feeling. It's crazy, and it's the kind of feeling I know I shouldn't let myself get, but... I don't think I'll ever get home, Bonnie. Oh, everybody gets those feelings. No, I mean it. I'm just... Just so sure of it. It's gonna happen. And it's gonna happen quick. And it's gonna happen here. Thank you, Sophia Rose. <laughs> yeah, you know what I got big eyes for? Huh. A chocolate malt. Oh, boy, I can almost taste it. They used to make him great back home in my hometown. Old Doc Griffin, he used to fill it up full ice cream right to the top. Bonnie. Huh? If I get knocked off, oh, I want you to get a chocolate malt. Spirit, I don't care when you get it. You just get it. And I want it to be filled with ice cream. Thick. Thick so you almost have to eat it with a spoon. And I want you to drink a toast to me. You know what I think? You've been reading too many war novels. You know what I think? What? You're right. Listening to the Cavalcade of America, starring Nina Fosh, 
sponsored by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware, makers of better things for better living through chemistry. Tonight on Cavalcade of America, Nina Fosh is starring as Air Force Flight Nurse Captain Jonita Bonham. You're a girl living in Montgomery, Alabama. Home from air evacuation duty in Korea. And one day the phone rings. It's Cy Harris of the radio program Cavalcade of America in New York. They want to do your story. They need something exciting. I told Mr. Harris about the mud. But, Miss Bonham, how can an actress play mud? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I see. Well, Miss Bonham, let's go back a few years. You went to school in Oklahoma City, is that mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I went to high school there. Well, anything special happened to you there? Ah, uh, I see. I made the commencement speech on a football field. Oh, you were first in your class. Oh, no. I just happened to have the only voice could be heard the length of the field. <laughs> I think you're just being modest, Miss Bonham. Modest. I wish I had something to tell him. All I did was my job. You train, you train for all the emergencies, and, and then if one comes up, they make a big production out of it. Do you call a fireman and a hero because he puts out a fire? That's his job. I remember the day it all happened. It was raining, as usual. And Zira and I were at base operations trying to get a plane out to Korea. Yeah, I got a plane leaving in about ten minutes. You're going to K-2, right? Isn't that what they said, Zira? K-2, the biggest mud hole in Korea. So who's the pilot? Lieutenant Ward. Oh, good. Think he'll have room for us? He's standing right over there by the door. Why didn't you ask him? Now, that is the kind of an answer I like. It's practical. Come on. Let's tear ourselves away from Happy Jack here. <laughs> so long, Florence Knight. Hey, Bill. Bill, you're going to have company. Good deal. Hi, Bonnie. You going to, Bill? Sure, why not? I like the ride. Just Chicago. Men. Replacements again? 52 of them. Great. We're off on the Sardine Express. <laughs> Pardon me, ma'am, but are we going to take off soon? Mm, as soon as the pilot gets clear. Sure a lot of noise inside a plane, isn't it? Uh, the engine? I've never been up in a plane before. Well, it's, it's just like riding a bus, only louder. Oh, Bill, are you going up forward? Might as well. I think I'll take me a nap. You coming? I'll be up in a few minutes. Hey, look at that. Is that fire supposed to come out of them engines like that? It's only exhaust. What's the matter, kid? Nervous? You said it. Oh, uh, just relax now. Take it easy. Looks like we're all set to take off. Everybody make sure your seatbelts are fastened. Yeah. Hang on to your hat. Here we go. The engines roared, and I felt the familiar pull of speed as the big plane raced down the runway. And within a matter of seconds, we were airborne. Then I went forward. Still pretty dark, Bill. I guess we might be out of, over the bay by now. That's right. You must know this run like the back of your hand by now, Bonnie. Yeah. How long have you been on it? Mm-hmm. Three months. I, I figure I've made, well, somewhere between 150 and 200 round trips oh. between Korea and Japan Just so far. Just a regular commuter. Yeah, that's me. Your sidekick asleep? Oh, now it's like a light. She needs it. We've been averaging about three hours a night. Yeah, that's really rugged. Bonnie, why don't you go back there and turn in, too? You can probably use sleep yourself. Okay. Maybe I will. If we run into anything interesting, I'll let you know. Uh, okay. And then it happens. I knew I was underwater. I, I don't know how I got out. They tell me the crash broke the plane in two. Things were floating all around me. I, I could see heads in the water. Some men were swimming, and some just floated. Hello? Hello? Vera? Bill? Hello? I hear a 
Save your breath and hang on. It'll, it'll keep you afloat. Here's a life raft. How do you inflate these things? It's all tied up. Yeah, you pull it apart. Just, just yank it out of its case. It'll inflate itself. We got it. Amen. Over this way. To the raft. There's a man here. You, you go on. I'm okay. You're giving your hand. There now. You hang on. Caught it. Here, pull this man in. No, you, you first. Go ahead now. Now you're going. This way. There's a raft over here. We're over this way. What about you, Nick? Pull him in. Here, I'll give you a hand. Wait till I help these men. I don't know if I can make it. Here, here's a rope. Grab. Hey, nurse, come on. Get in the raft. That water's ice cold. If you don't drown, you'll freeze to death. I'm all right. You men over there. Help. There's another raft right behind you. Help. Yeah, that's it. Get on it. Help. Help. Here, here, Toby. You grab oh. That's right now. You hang on. Oh. Uh, we got it. Yeah. Oh. And there's how many more out there? Oh. I'm, I'm afraid that's all. Has oh. anybody seen there? Uh, uh, Captain Brown? No, ma'am. Oh. At least he's not in this raft. Well, you better get in, nurse. Hey, nurse, are you okay? Grabber, she's passing out. Yeah, I got her. Look at the side of her head. Split wide open. How about that? What a girl. I guess I fainted. It didn't last long. Anyway, as the night wore on, I began to fear our little party would just never end. I'd been so sure someone on shore would learn what had happened. But they didn't come. Water poured into our raft with every splashing wave that made trying to give first aid tougher than ever. A minute. An hour. I'm going to swim to shore. I'm not going to wait here till the waves turn us over. Yeah, we'll all try. I'm drifting out to sea. Now, you sit down. You'll capsize I'm going to swim Did to shore. Did you hear me? Now, that's better. You just sit down there. If we keep under control, we'll be okay. It might take a few hours, but they'll find us. Now, here's what we're going to do. You, over there, you keep watching the way you're looking now. You, Slim, you watch on this side. You two keep bailing out the water. Here, you sit down is everybody clear what their job is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get the blues when it rains. The blues I can lose when it rains. It's no Water's getting choppy. Yeah. This thing ain't gonna hold up much longer. We, we drown if we move and we drown if we don't. Now, oh, it'll be dawn soon, just a few more minutes. We mustn't lose hope. I, I know we'll be ready. Hey. Hey, what's up? All right, now. We see you all right. Looks like a boat. Where? I see it. There it where, is. Where? Where? Did you see it? Do it to me. Hey. It's a boat. It's a boat. Yeah. Hey. Right on as he sees us. Here he comes. Hey there! Can you give us a tow? That's Japanese. Must be a fishing boat. He's coming along to show us the line. 
Yes, we... We may. Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Are you awake? Mm -hmm. Hi, Doctor. How do you feel? Okay, fine, fine. Know what's wrong with you? Well, I, I, I think my wrist is broken. Mm, I think so, too, in about ten places. You've also got a fractured skull, a split cheekbone, a broken shoulder, and six broken ribs. Now, how do you feel? Oh, terrible, doctor. Where am I? You're in the first aid station, Bonnie. Uh, doctor, is... Did they find Vera? No. Can I get you something, Bonnie? No, no, thanks. I don't think so. Bonnie. You mustn't brood about it. Don't forget, you saved 27 lives. That's a pretty good score. Mm, but I can't forget the other 26. I can't. Yes, Doctor. There is something you can get for me. Sure, what is it? A chocolate malt. Oh, I think that can be arranged. With a lot of ice cream. Filled with ice cream. So thick you have to eat it with a spoon. I want to propose a toast. Mr. Harris, that's about all. Uh, that's the story. But how did you do all that? I mean, I mean, with all those broken bones, did you think of something special? What made you do it, Miss Bonham? Well, I don't, I don't know. I just did it. There was nothing else I could do. There was nothing else I could do. Those seven words sum up the career and character of Captain Jomita R. Bonham, flight nurse, United States Air Force. But there are other words about her, too. Words that go with the decoration she, she received, the Distinguished Flying Cross. The citation reads, For meritorious service in medical air evacuation flights and for carrying out her missions willingly and without complaint, Lieutenant Bonham's unselfish devotion to duty has reflected great credit upon herself her profession, and the United States Air Force. Our thanks to Nina Foss and the Cavalcade players for tonight's story, The Nurse Who Forgot Fear. When a Yankee drops out of the clouds on Carolina one week after the Battle of Fort Sumter, he can only be one thing, a spy. Listen next week when the DuPont Cavalcade presents Fly High, Fly Low, the story of a startling event that was to influence the course of military tactics and strategy from that day to this. Our star, Lee Bowman. Tonight's DuPont Cavalcade, The Nurse Who Forgot Fear, was written by Arnold Schulman and Irving Ellman and based on an article from Every Woman's Magazine as condensed in the Reader's Digest. Original music was composed by Arden Cornwell, conducted by Donald Borings. The program was directed by John Zoller. Nina Fosh may soon be seen co-starring with Glenn Ford in the MGM picture, Young Man with Ideas. With Nina Fosh tonight, our cavalcade cast featured Judith Parrish as Vera, John Newland as Bill. We wish to thank Captain Raymond Hausman of the United States Air Force for his technical assistance in tonight's cavalcade. This is Cy Harris speaking. Don't forget next week, our star, Lee Bowman. The DuPont Cavalcade of America comes to you from the Velasco Theater in New York and is sponsored by the DuPont Company of Wilmington, Delaware, makers of better things for better living through chemistry. <laughs> Thank you.
Next, it's Barry Craig, Confidential Investigator on NBC. NBC.